Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Welcome dear students. In this lesson we will study how to solve power equations. Remember, if we have the base equals the base, then the power equals the power, and must be the base not equal to zero or positive or negative one. If A is a real number, M and N are two integers, and A power M equal A power N. Because the bases are equal, therefore the power are equal m must be equal n where a must be not equal zero or positive or negative one example if we have three power n equal nine and we know that nine is three power two since the bases are equal therefore the power are equal then n equal two number two we make the power equal the power then if A and B are two free numbers, M is an integer number, and A power M equal B power M. Then A equal B if M is, a, is odd numbers. Example, if we have N power 5 equals 3 power 5. Because the powers are the same and the power is an odd numbers, then the bases are equal, then N equal 3. Number two, a equal positive or negative b if the power is an even number. Example, if we have 2 power n the power 2 equals 3 power 2. Because the powers are equal and is even number, therefore n equal positive or negative 3. Number 3, m equals 0 if a not equal positive or negative b. Example, if we have same 7 power n the minus 2 equal 5 power n the minus 2. Because the powers are same and the bases not equal, its numbers not equal, therefore the power must be equal to 0. n minus 2 equals 0, therefore n equals 2. Example number 1, find the value of n in each of the following. Number 1, 2 power n plus 5 equals 8. Since 2 power n plus 5 equals 8, we can type number 8 as 2 power 3. Therefore, 2 power n plus 5 equals 2 power 3. Since the base equals the base, therefore the power equals the power. Then n plus 5 equals 3. Therefore, n equals 3 minus 5, which equals negative 2. Number 2, 9 power n minus 1 equals 1 over 81. Since 9 power n minus 1 equals 1 over 81, we can type each one as 9 power 2 because 9 power 2 equal each one. Therefore, 9 power n minus 1 equal 1 over 9 power 2. And we can take 9 power 2 from the denominator to numerator and change the sign of the power. 2 power 9 power 2 will change it to 9 power negative 2. Now we have the bases are same. 9 power n minus 1 equal 9 power negative 2 because the bases are equal, therefore the, the powers are equal. Then n minus 1 equal negative 2. To find the value of n, we make negative 2 minus 1, which equal negative 1. Since it's 3 power 3n minus 6 equal 5 power 3n minus 6. Since the power equals the power, therefore the base is equal to the base or the power equal zero. And we have the bases are not equal, three, it's not equal five, therefore the power equals zero. Negative six will cause the other sign to with positive sign. Then value of n must be equal six over three, which equal two. Example number two, find solution set in each of the following equation in R. Number one, 18 power n over 8 power n times 9 power n equal 16. 18, it's 9 times 2. 9 times 2 will equal 18. Then we can type 18 as 3 power 2, which equal 9, multiplying by 2, all power n. And 8, it's 2 power 3, all power n. 9 is 3 power 2 all power n and 16 it's 2 power 4. Now we multiplying the powers 3 power 2 power 
n will equal 3 power 2n times 2 power n over 2 power 3n times 3 power 2n equal 2 power 4. Now we have 3 power 2n over 3 power 2n. We can cancel these two numbers. We have now 2 power n over 3, 2 power 3n over equal 2 power 4. Because the these are equal, we subtract the powers in division will equal 2 power n minus 3n equal 2 power 4. Because the bases are equal, the base equals the base, the 4 the power equal the power. n minus 3n will equal 4. n minus 3n will equal negative 2n equal 4. The 4, the 4 n equal 2. Negative 2, because negative 2 times negative 2 will equal positive 4. Then the solution set is negative 2. Number 2. 3 power absolute value of x equal 81. We can type 81 as 3 power 4 because the base equals the base, the 4 the power equal the power. Absolute value of x equal 4, then x equal positive or negative 4, then the solution set is 4 or negative 4. Number 3, 3 over 2 all power x minus x power 2 minus x equal 2 and 1 over 4. We can change this mixed fraction into fraction with equal 9 over 4. 9 is 3 power 2 and 4 is 2 power 2. Therefore, 9 over 4 will equal 3 over 2 all power 2. Because the base equals the base, therefore the power equal the power. x power 2 minus x will equal 2. We can take positive to the other sign with negative sign, which equals 0. By factorization, it's trinomial. Can be factorized into two brackets. It's x minus 2 multiplying by x plus 1. And they take each of these two brackets equal 0. Therefore, x minus 2 equals 0. Then the value of x equal 2. Or x plus 1 equals 0. Then the value of x equal negative 1. Then the solution set is positive 2 or negative 1. Thanks for watching and goodbye.